Hi, Google. How are you? Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. I'm fine. Good afternoon. My name is Ishani. And uh, today we will be talking uh, a little bit about your understanding in Tableau. But before sure. that, can you give me a brief introduction of yourself, Google? I'm from Tamil Nadu, ma'am. I have completed BTEC in Petroleum Engineering and I have done my MBA in HR and Marketing. I have worked uh, for, for a while in a real time drilling operations company in Kochi. Okay. And there I used to work in a real time analytics, like uh, monitoring the data of drilling and circulation and something like that. So All we right. used to provide service to the companies like Chevron, Slumberger, mm -hmm. Halliburton. Then right. uh, due to an injury, I should, uh, I got uh, took a break and now I pursued a data science and I'm looking for a job. All right, so what made you pursue data science? Like uh, the data was very fascinating <laughs> while drilling. Yes, ma'am. It was actually fascinating because uh, there we created a small project like Atom, uh, custom made a uh, automatic filter monitoring process like a project. It worked, but uh, I can give ideas. But at the time, I couldn't uh, figure out uh, what was actually happening behind the process. I right. gave an idea, but I'm not sure how to make it work. So I thought at the time it. I found it also also interesting. So I. Googled about it and came to know that data science was behind the base and many other things. So I thought I, I would take it in, into my hand. Very good. Good, good. So this uh, interview that we are going to have is uh, from it's it is again data that we're talking about, but not predictions. We're going to talk about the visualization portion of it. Sure. Right. And uh, as you're aware, Tableau is one of the market leaders uh, yes. in this particular industry. All right. Um, so let's start uh, with the first question. If you could explain me that uh, what type of joints are used in blending? There's a concept of blending in Tableau. So what type of joints do blending use? In blending, the uh, default is uh, left joint in blending. Default is left joint. Absolutely yes. correct. All right. And uh, do you understand what is hierarchy? Yes, ma'am. Hierarchy. We used to categorize like a uh, we used to put in a uh, group them in, into a single club. We used to club the uh, dimensions into a single thing in a hierarchical order. All right. And why do you think we would do something like that? Like what is the purpose of uh, putting the different dimensions into one hierarchy? We may have uh, some related uh, dimensions like, uh, can I say some with the examples now? Sure. Uh, like uh, some, sometimes we used to have a region, state and a city. At mm -hmm. the time we can, uh, club them into a single uh, thing with the use of hierarchy and we can use to display it uh, visually more appealing and uh, easily related to the audience. So All right. at the time we use hierarchy. Plus I think drilling down the data becomes yeah, little yeah, yeah, easier yeah. when you yes, have a hierarchy, sure. drilling becomes easier. Okay, uh, have you worked in the analytics tab in Tableau? Like there's a data tab and there's an analytics tab? Yes ma'am, I have worked on it uh, to find the correlations and uh, to find the clubbing process and the grouping process and okay. to, for analysis, I worked on that part. So since you're talking about clubbing and grouping and you're talking about correlation, so can you explain me what clustering is all about? Uh, clustering is uh, grouping the data of a similar kind into a particular cluster, like uh, mm, with uh, some example means uh, we used to correlate some data uh, mm -hmm. with the two measures. We used to correlate some data and to find relation. At the time, we can uh, cluster those data and find the similarities between them. So it is used to find the similarities and group them. To find the similar group of similar data. Okay. Yeah. Right. So is it like uh, Tableau decide how many clusters it can make, or even you can tell how many clusters you're looking for? Uh, well, the time of creation itself, it shows uh, how many clusters will be created. Like uh, it is, uh, it will create automatically. It creates automatically. All right. Um, let's say if you have uh, multiple data sets, right? It may be in the same workbook or it may be same different sources of data. And we want to work on those data sets and create visualization. Like we want to put them all the data together and do the visualization. So what kind of techniques can we use to merge these data sets? What is the actual purpose for doing this one? Because uh, based on that, uh, we can do blending for, from different workbooks. All right. We can so use joins. Joins, correct. And what else? And union. union. Perfect. 
perfect so you can combine the data sources depending on the need like you rightly said yes, yes it yes. would depend on the need that we will do a join or a union so can you explain yes. me what is the difference between a join and a union um join is usually a half uh, it's automatically happen in previous in previous w version we have to make a, a specific uh, custom made design to get it into a specific join but now mm -hmm. w has uh, evolved and they made it easy to the uh, users to automatically get the left join by okay. default and we can also change the join by in union we are placing a, um, we are concatenating or something like that. we are um, stacking the data sets at one at the top and one at the bottom like uh, okay placing. Um, can we say, can we talk in terms of how we are merging in terms of rows and columns? Like is join merging the data on a row level or a column level and is union, what is union difference between union and join when it talks? Union, it makes it uh, visible in a single sheet. Uh, it uh, adds the two tables uh, to into a single table. In join, it is actually happening behind the process, but we can uh, use it in the sheets to make the view visible. Okay, all right. Um, have you heard about or have you used sets? Yes, ma'am. I use sets. Can you tell me what are sets? Why they based use? on the based on certain conditions we used to filter the set. It is used like uh, for filtering process or something like that. We can use it for like uh, we can uh, group the data like uh, based on certain conditions like a uh, top ten customers. Uh, who are uh, meeting the condition of uh, sales above 10,000 or $10,000 okay. or something like that. We can use to create sets and uh, we can distinguish them. With the uh, use of multiple sets, we can also create uh, combined sets in that uh, we can perform different type of operations. Okay, so let me elaborate a little bit more on this thing. So when you talk about sets, uh, you said it helps us to group the data, to analyze the data, right? What are we grouping? Are we grouping based on dimension? We are grouping based on measures. What are we doing? Dimension. Dimension. So no measures are involved when we create sets? Yes, no, it's involved. We are using the measures as values, but uh, we are actually creating the sets with the use of uh, dimensions. We are creating a sets on dimensions but we're using yes. measures yes can i have more than one measures based on which i can create a set i can yes ma'am yes ma'am you can all right and um, what about parameters parameters is a you know a very good feature yes, of tabu i personally really like parameters so yes, what are parameters parameters are uh, usually gives the user to um, visualize the data more easily and their uh, preferable way. Like uh, we can create a parameters to sort the data. We can have uh, multiple measures in the same data mm -hmm. in the same view. And we can, uh, with the help of parameters, we can uh, sort it out, uh, sort by quantity or by price or something else, uh, whichever measure which we are used in the view. It is similar to kind of filter map. It's a filtering process. It can be used for filtering process, mainly parameters. Okay. All right. Um, let's say if I wanted to analyze um, age, okay, if okay. there's a measure called age, if there's a field called age, and I would like to run my analysis on age, uh, what would you do in Tableau to, you know, do a useful analysis to this measure? I would use uh, bins. Now. Bins is the best option to make uh, the measure measure values to uh, dimensions because we can uh, divide we can create slabs like uh, from 0 to 10 uh, particular mm -hmm. age and 10 to 20 likewise we can create different slabs and we can um, get the values and views with the help of bins with the help of bins can i bins dimension yes ma can i do binning on dimensions or is it only for yes, measures that i can do binning uh, um it's mainly used in measures I'm not sure whether it can be, it can be used in uh, dimensions, but I haven't used much. No, not used in dimensions. It's only for measures. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And if I want to, uh, you know, not exactly binning, binning is basically in numbers you're making intervals, okay. but if I want to group the items of a dimension, like for example, let's okay. take 
um i have uh, you know operations in uh, many part of india and where there are various cities which are there and i want to you know group certain cities and let's say uh, call it region 1 i want to group another set of cities call it region 2 so what can i do in that case like if i want if this is a scenario i want i want my visualization i have been given city data city wise data i don't have anything called region defined in my data set and i want to uh, show it on my visualization as a region where region 1 have would have predefined number of like say cities like say delhi is there and chandigarh is there things like that so in what in which feature of uh, tableau would you use you can use it by grouping ma'am uh, group yeah. correct you would use grouping over there all right uh so there are uh, various types of uh, you know when you're working in the sheet portion of tableau they are filtered area there is something called a marks card in marks card there is a specific card called color card yes sir right so can you explain me why or what is the use of a color card and the color card is basically used to differentiate uh, the categories within a field because uh, a field can man, uh, can have uh, multiple uh, categories like uh, can i say say with some examples from like uh, in the sales of uh, stationery items so we can get uh, like uh, books uh, paper uh, books papers and pens and some other type there are multiple categories we can show the uh, viewers or users with the differentiation like uh, with the use of colors we can differentiate how much sales has happened with the, uh stationery and uh, with the books and with the, uh, in the year graph like that uh, we can show them we can it's a, basically used to differentiate uh, it used to it is used for differentiation all right do you think colors are important or uh, yes. they it are it is used to make it visually easy to understand and interpretable so it is not uh, it has main importance in the visualization part only it does visually uh, it becomes appealing yes, and easy to understand yes. all yes. right okay okay so i wanted to ask you that if this is the data set that i have in which i have got the region uh, the state and then i've got a male literacy rate and a female literacy rate i want to create a view where i can pick one state let's say i pick delhi and in delhi i want to get a pie chart which shows me what is the percentage of male and female in terms of literacy how would you proceed on that in tableau we can use uh, this kind of uh, data to visually present those uh, the thing you asked man because uh, it uh, in tableau usually use uh, to like gender male and female if we okay. have it in a single column we can use we can use it in tableau to present for that uh, we have to in the data source we have to merge those two columns two columns into a single column and how do we what tool of pivot uh, tableau will you use for it Uh, I'm not sure about the exact uh, word. But just tell me the I process. Use... Just tell me the process. If you don't remember the terminology, mm -hmm. that's fine. So, what is the process that you do? We used to select those uh, column, and we have okay. used uh, convert it to a single column, and then we use it in uh, view. Then you can we use in to... the view. Yeah. Right. It's called pivot. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, so your process is clear. You know what you're doing, but you forgot yes, the terminology. Sir. That's fine. That's fine. It's called pivoting. so you are absolutely correct in a tableau if your uh, headers are given which are supposed to be in one column i couldn't i am not i will not be able to put it in a pie chart so i need to first convert into a single column of male and female and one column of literacy rate then i will be able to create a pie chart out of it good 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 okay now let's say um so this pivoting is one way of preparing the data right is there any other tool in tableau that you know of which helps me to you know clean up the data prepare the data for my actual analysis there is an uh, tool named the uh, data interpreter at the data source page absolutely it can be used to clean the data uh, to remove the null values and the blank uh, rows and mm -hmm. it used to make prep the data it is it is automatically it does uh, in seconds so it can be used to clean up the data This clean is. up the data sets good good all right uh, in the beginning when we started i asked you about blending and what kind of uh, you know join is there in blending but can you explain me why because 
what I understand and what you said that blending and joining is joining at the end of the day. In joints, you have various type of joints, but blending is only left joint. But can you explain me when should I blend the data versus join the data? Like when should I use blending oh. basically? When the level of details are not uh, equal or it's different, when the level of details are different, we uh, have to use blending now. Because can you we give can't, me an example? Uh, can you give me an example of yes, the two uh, tables where we can explain the level of detail? Because uh, in the two table, may, um, a table may contain a category and the other table may not contain a category, but it contains a subcategory. At that time, the level of detailing is different, but they are relatable. So mm -hmm. at that time, we can use blending uh, to visually present the data. Okay, so what is the process of what does blending actually do in, in like, internally in Tableau, what it is doing? It actually, uh, it writes SQL code behind uh, mm -hmm. the process, behind the process, and it converts into a, a, a table into a specific format and both tables are joined. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, uh, let's talk about um, filtering. So, do you know what is a context filters? What are context filters? Yes, when we use when we use multiple filters, uh, we uh, it tablet doesn't work. So at the time we have to use add to context to make the second second or third uh, filter to work. Okay, so for example, let's say let's take a scenario. I've got a data for countries, and within the countries, I have a, a data for states, right? So I have a data for country, states, and their sales, right? So if I want to create a view where I want to find the top five states for each country, and I give the control to the user through the filters to pick one country at a time. So let's say if I pick USA, I should get the top five states for USA in terms of sales. So can you tell me the process? At first, we have to create a parameter. Uh, we can use filters. Parameter. Let's say we are creating filters. Okay. Filters, we can put countries okay. in filters and uh, the okay. person is picking filters, uh, you know, country from filter. In, in the filters, we can create by top and parameter. There is a tab like uh, top parameters, top tab. In the tab, we can mention how many number of uh, fields we have want to display. So in that okay. thing, we can make it as five, and we can mm -hmm. uh, select the city and uh, the thing, and then we can make it the user make it visible to use. Okay, so now, like in this scenario, we have used two filters, correct? Yes. One I've used in country, and one you said we will put it on the state, and we'll use the tab of top and put the top five over there. Correct. Yes. Now there are two filters. On which field will you put the context filter? Mm -hmm. Like which In one the, will be add to context? The other one than the top. I wish we couldn't. We should not use on the on the top one. Uh, other one, the country. So there are two filters. Okay. There is a country filter and there is a state filter. In the country filter. In the country filter. In the country filter. Okay. Good. Um, you also spoke about a while back when we were talking about clustering, you were talking about correlations, right? Yes, so what kind of charts do you typically use for correlations? Uh, for correlation, it's a scatter chart. You Long need issues. scatter charts. And to create a scatter chart, how many measures, minimum measures do we require? Minimum two measures and one dimension. Okay. All right. And um, let's say, Let's say if you have, uh, you know, data for different months, let's say I have sales data and each sales data is uh, recorded on different months. Like January has one sheet, Feb has one sheet, March has one sheet. Like this, I've got January to December, all the sheets with the data. Now I want to do a analysis of my, you know, whatever the measures that are there. I want to do analysis on a yearly basis. Okay, but my data is segregated into 12 different sheets. So how will I do my yearly analysis? Mm, I think the union would be the better option for this process. Now. Good. I haven't tried this exact scenario, but I think uh, after with my knowledge and uh, experience, I think the uh, union would be perfectly suitable. For right, you have to combine all the data set one on top yes. of other. So get it in one table and then we can do it. 
correct correct okay um let's say if i have uh, in one of the columns i have uh, the customer's name okay. okay one of my columns is customer name where i have the customer first name i've got its middle name and i've got the last name of the customer now my intention is that i would want to find out the first name of the customers because let's say i'm in a business where we do customized gifting so you know few of the gifts i want to already pre create to the typical name of the people who come and buy at the store okay so for that purpose what i need to know is the uh, occurrence of each first name the number okay. of each first name right so i'll repeat my question my question is that i have a column in which i've got the customer's first name middle name last name in one single column my intention is that i want to find out let's say a google okay how many googles are you know buying from me i want to understand who are the what are the common names of my customers so that i can pre create some grips and keep it so how would you do it uh for the thing we have to segregate uh, separate the first name from the other name we have okay. to use a uh, uh, custom split and the data source sort sheet okay data source place we, okay. there we can uh, specify the de delimiter where we have to uh, separate and how many in the first attempt or the second attempt we can choose like mm -hmm. twice if we choose one first attempt and a delimiter as uh, if they are having a space between their names means space mm -hmm. we can separate into a single column we can okay. get only the single first name okay so you've done one step of it that you've got the first names out of yes. the entire name my correct thing was first name now what how will you do the second part to it where i want to understand how many of each are there and then we can convert uh, this field into uh, we can use it as a dimension and we can mm -hmm. use the count option to aggregate function to Absolutely. find the number of users correct okay um tell me about table calculations have you heard about table calculations yes one i used uh, most uh, in the analytical parts okay it's uh, similar to the it's similar to show as value in excel because uh, we can get the all the similar features like a uh, uh, percentage for total percentage and the uh, cal calculations like a uh, subtotals and something like that we can get um, series of uh, calculation parts using the table calculation so what is the difference between table table calculation and a calculated field like how would i differentiate when should i use a calculated field there's a calculated field also in table so what is the difference between the two calculated field is created by ourselves based on a certain condition one okay calculated field but uh, the table calculation is already is performed on the uh, uh, dimensions and the measures which we use to create a value like a, we have like uh, for an example in a view we are getting a, a company's name and their sales mm -hmm. there we can uh, we want to show the user or our manager that uh, what is the distribution of a growth or sales in the particular uh, company at the mm -hmm. time we can convert it into it into a total of percentage total percentage of sales occupied so by this is what company. table calculation oh uh, yes ma'am this is what table calculation okay now let me give you another scenario let's say um, we have various products that are manufactured in the company and uh, we have recorded year by sales of it okay so i have products let's say 200 products and i have got 5 years data i have got the sales value of those products now i want to understand how much growth has been there for each product over a period of time okay. how would i find that out we can use the line graph uh, to uh, i want the values i'm more interested in what was the change for example if it was like say 200000 in the year 2017 in 2018 it was let's say 250000 so what was the change or what was the increase Uh, we can use it by if we, if we can create a filter also ma'am by for uh, shifting from particular uh, uh, year to year or by we can create a parameters like if from start date to end date we can uh, divide those data and we no, can no 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 i'll repeat i'll repeat okay. what i am looking for is um imagine a matrix okay okay one column the rows that you have consist of the product names 
Okay. Right. In the columns, I've got the years. Okay. Right. 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I want to understand from 17 to 18, what was the percentage increase or decrease in the sales value okay. of that product? Okay. So I don't know why that we can use it. Okay, for that we can use quick table calculation and we can select uh, an option from previous uh, thing we can subtract. Correct. Uh, so that's the year difference. on year growth. Correct. Yes, Correct. We can find the difference. So basically, in um, it is going to be in table calculation year on year growth. Yes. All right. Uh, what kind of projects have you done, Google on Tableau? Can you give me a few? In Tableau, hmm. yes, I'm sure. We have uh, done, uh, I have done uh, multiple projects on uh, Airbnb. And okay. uh, we wash, you sleep, and uh, airplane uh, maintenance uh, case study. And I have worked on some of the minor projects. Minor, minor projects, case okay. studies and projects. Okay, that's great. Uh, any challenges that you faced while working on uh, the data sets? Like any challenges in W that you faced? No, I'm, uh, tab I, I'm not sure uh, whether I can say this or not. I got too comfortable with the tablet tool and it was uh, automatically I got a flow with that. So I didn't face any much uh, trouble with the tablet part and while creating a visually appealing on the visually uh, attractive display was the major uh, trouble I got I think so. Even though I created a view with a fascinating color and uh, fonts or something like that, I couldn't get the full satisfaction from those views. So I'm still, still trying to get a uh, classic view, something like that. Okay. All right, all right, great. One last question, Google. That is, okay. let's say if I uh, hire you as a consultant for my company, okay, and uh, I give you my data set and say, okay, Google, you know Tableau, okay, why can you create a dashboard for me? So how would you proceed on doing this work? At first, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you some questions like uh, for what purpose we are doing this, Okay. what we are trying to achieve mm -hmm. and what are the fields and what they represent and what are the objectives we are trying to get like that i used to get some data from you and then okay. with those data i used to create a uh, objectives and based on those objectives i try to perform the visualization part very nice very nice because of the thought, mm. good 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 all right. Thank you, Google. Thank you for your time. It was a Thanks. pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Thanks for your time. Bye bye. Sure.